Welcome to Vancouver Carpentry, you guys. So yes, it happens to me sometimes too. Um, yeah, you ever get a nasty blister underneath your corner bead? Well, unfortunately you can't just keep coating over these. You do have to do something about them. So I'm gonna show you guys how to resolve these. All right, so the problem here is that we didn't get enough mud under the paper tape and the flange. And so it can move around. So basically what we gotta do here is um, I'm gonna cut it out right along the edge of that bead right here and we'll go to here because that's where it yeah that's where it ends and then so I've got a nice sharp knife here actually I don't even need to carve that because I did that I can basically just yoink it right off we'll give it a quick little cut right here so yeah, underneath this bead, it's just empty. You know, um, at this point I could fasten it, but believe it or not, there's actually two layers of drywall here and there's nothing for me to fasten to. So under normal circumstances, I would fasten it. But yeah, under this circumstance, I can't. Even right here, there's some little blisters. Let's get those out of there. Okay. So there's that first step. So the next step that I'm gonna to need to do is, I've got some 20 minute mixed up here. This is 20 minute mud. Oh, there's barely enough room for me to even get my knife in. This is super annoying. But basically I'm wiping the mud underneath the paper flange or underneath the metal flange to make sure that that's full because once that's full of mud, it's not gonna be able to move anymore. Let me get the camera up. Can you see how that can move? So once that can't move anymore, because there's gonna be mud underneath it, then it's gonna be strong. All right, so yeah, again, I'm gonna make sure that there's lots of mud wiped in there. All right, as much as I would love to leave this like this, um, we can't. So we do have to actually put some sort of tape on here. Now, what I should have done is scraped a little bit of this away, but I didn't. So uh, because of where this is, it's on a bulkhead, I'm just gonna build it up. But if it was down at eye level, we might actually have to scrape away a bunch of this mud. So right here, we got that. Now it's just as simple as coat it out. Oh, got a loose, loose strand, hate those. I'm also going to build it up just a little bit so that there's a little bit of mud hiding the tape. Okay, we'll let that set up before we finish coat it, but that's pretty much it, you know, right there. So now that's hidden, buried under some strong mud. Should be pretty good. All right, as you can see, I had a couple spots here, 20 minutes all dry, I should say all set. I'm just gonna give it a quick scrape. And uh, once that's done, once that's done, you can recoat the corner. Um, you know, I don't know what stage you're at when you're having to do this. I find usually after you do the first coat of mud, you can really see where all the blisters are and then you can fix it. So, um, you know, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to give these spots a real quick coat just so that um, it's got some regular mud over top of it. Why am I using my 
six inch knife when I could just be pulling like that. Now that's just got a little bit of extra meat, so when I come back and sand this and then I do a final coat, it's going to be fantastic. Um, I have the benefit of drying time on this job, so I don't have to get right back to this right away. Anyways, that's how you fix a blistered corner beam. So I just want to say thanks for watching Vancouver Carpenter. Uh, thanks for bearing with the terrible echo. There's really very little you can do on these wide open empty jobs with all flat surfaces. It just is what it is. So thanks for watching and till the next video you guys.